I'd like to congratulate you all on a superb performance so far. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do, but uh, give yourselves a round of applause. You've been wonderful. <laughs> well, I'm sure you've all heard by now, but uh, well, this will be Casper's last season as an F1 driver. And if you get the chance, then please do your very best to change his mind. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Casper. Uh, you will be missed. Anyway, I'll stop talking for once. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening and let's push for four. Look, I know how this works. I've been around long enough. I'm just saying, you have a future here. I've seen a lot of drivers come and go in my time. But you're special, Aiden. You've got the makings of a true great. I mean it. Casper! Hey, where's Zoe? Oh, she's around somewhere. She loves these things. Oh, and you don't? Wow. Mind if we join you? I'll be my guest. Come on, Aiden. Sit. Why didn't it work out between you two? Brian, I'd rather not discuss... I don't care what you'd rather, Hayden. Casper's leaving us, and I know that your agent's been talking to other teams. This could be the last chance the three of us get to chat like this. Who knows? We may not even see each other again after Abu Dhabi. So come on. What's the deal? Listen, I just want to have a nice evening. He's on more money than me. What? Ah, hence the frosty reception. Everybody started talking about my age. Just wanted to prove myself. Prove that I was better than the next flavor of the month. This was not about you, Aiden. I just, I don't know. What about you? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? You wanted Ricardo instead. And you thought I was past my best. What? But that's not true. You're having an amazing season. Could you verify that number for me? That's right. And that's the contracted amount, yes? Yeah. Do you mind if we show him? You two are a couple of chumps, do you know that? And you should know better. I don't understand. No, but he does. It would be funny if he wasn't so tragic. I wonder how many points all this has cost us. Well, I'll leave you to it. You can apologize to me later. I don't understand. I'm an idiot. Why? Paddock gossip. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, there's been one man at the centre of it all. Who? The man who told me pre-season last year that you signed a better deal. The man who said you thought that I was too old. And that would be the same man who told you I didn't want you signed. Butler? And I believed him. How could I be so stupid? You're not stupid, Casper. I didn't think he had this in him. Why would he bother? Look at all the mess he's caused. The crash last year, the fight in Canada. And how much easier has he had it because of all of that? What can we do? Beat him.
Hey. Hey. How are you finding it out there today? <sighs> Tough. We're overheating the tires a little through the S's. Yeah, happens. Do you mind if I join you for a moment? Please. They want us to push for fourth. You think Alfa Romeo are catchable? Maybe. Bottler's having a good season. He claims he has been approached by Mercedes. I heard. He is the more experienced driver. I think the seat goes to him. You said it had always been your dream to drive for them. Is that true? Yeah. It is. Okay, I'm going to give you space out there. I'm sorry I didn't do that before. I'm sorry too. I want us to push for four. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. Thanks, Casper. I don't know how we make that happen, but thanks. Well, we work together, help each other out, that's all we can do. Then let's do that. Yeah. Uh, we've adjusted the camber. Seems to help manage the tire temperatures a bit better. Yeah? I'll get them to share my setup data with you. Just see how it feels. Thank you, Casper. Truce. Truce. adjustment really helped. I guess I just wanted to thank you. Not a problem. Those tyres in a better range now? Much more manageable. Thanks. Well, those milliseconds all add up. Brian says we can catch Alfa Romeo. <laughs> Brian says a lot of things. Just focus on the next race. Thanks, Casper. I'll see you trackside. Giovinazzi's lap time's increasing. Uh, I still have time to catch them. Roger, we're on fresher tyres than they are. Push, push. Let's put the pressure on. Yeah, copy. The gap to the car behind is 1.7 seconds.
work, great pass. We're trailing our teammate by 27.9 seconds. Close now. Let's push. soon. Let's keep it clean please Cass. Check.
creating some breathing space between you and the car behind by a few seconds per lap. is 4.6 seconds. There's three laps of fuel remaining. You're catching the car in front by a second per lap gap. The teammate behind is 4.6 seconds. a few left.
your final lap, final lap of the race. seconds. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Victory for the team from Milton Keynes then after a quality performance. Martin continue to put the pressure on Alfa Romeo. That gap might still be a little too big to close, but for Aston Martin, it's very much game on. Yeah, when I think back even just a couple of months, Crofty, I didn't have Aston Martin pegged to be competing with Alfa Romeo. Both Jackson and Ackerman performing at their absolute best out there today. Well, they certainly were, and no sign of any disputes on or off track between the pair of them. Might they have put their differences behind them? Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here. day today let's have your take on it solid performance out there today Casper you must be pleased yeah the competition feels like it's fiercer than ever this season and the team is working really hard to keep up so we're grateful for every point we earn the fastest lap again Casper how do you keep doing it Well, I think it's a sign that the team have got a lot more to offer than people assume. They got the tyre strategy spot on again, and we had the right tyres at the right time, so all credit to them, really. That extra point is always welcome, and we couldn't be happier. Those points bring you a little bit closer to Alfa Romeo. Is that something you're particularly focused on during the race? Absolutely. We're into the business end of the season now, and we want to climb as many places as we can. Right now, that means catching Alfa Romeo. So, anytime we can put the pressure on a little, that's good for us. We asked Evan Butler a similar question. He said, and I quote, Aston Martin are a bit of a shambles. I don't think they're catching us anytime soon. What's your response to that? It sounds to me like a, the words of a man running scared. Great, well, that's everything.